are on our way to a very special surprise. I'm very excited. Are you excited, Mom? Yes, I'm so excited to see my son for the first time. I'm not trans. This is the surprise. I finally cut my hair. I'm very happy, very excited. I like it a lot. There's a long really story to this. You. Yeah, you think so? I think it suits me too. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, um, like this part's I know out. this stuff sticking out, but that's okay. Uh, I have short hair. If I spray it with water, it's gonna go. Bleh. So, yeah, I oh like God, it a lot. You, if you, when your aunt sees you, they're gonna freak out. Yeah. Do you like it, mom? Yeah, I love it. I know I like it a lot. When you came out, <laughs> yeah, it's like that is not her. Huh? That is not That's what the, the receptionist said. The receptionist was like, I can't even recognize you. You yeah. look so good. I'm like, thanks! Oh, I'm so yeah. excited. I like it a lot. Okay, I <laughs> Okay, so here we have the start because I'm just putting together Charlie's care package. So um, these are thumbprint cookies that Charlie absolutely adores. And then on top of that, these are all of the oatmeal cookies that I made the other day. I don't actually think they're going to fit in the box because the, t oh, yep, I'm gonna need a bigger box. Okay, so all of the things did not fit in the box, but I've got everything laid out that we got for Charlie. So these are the oatmeal cookies that I made and the thumbprint cookies that I made. I also got her, this is uh, what we call a snuggle buddy. Basically, there like it's got a little pouch inside its belly that you put in the microwave and heat up. So I think she'll like that quite a bit. I also got her this adorable llama mug. I don't know if you're sensing a theme here, but Charlie absolutely adores llamas. There's a whole long story behind that that I'm sure we'll get into one day. But it's got like this little hot chocolate mix in it. And it comes with like little mini marshmallows. And I just, Look at it, I mean, how can you not love this? It's literally a llama mug. Um, and then Aaliyah got her, this is a heated throw blanket. And then she's written a couple of cards and actually wax sealed them. She and I did the wax seal yesterday. Isn't that so pretty? Like she has like a legitimate um, wax seal stamp and everything. So pretty. And then she found, ooh, focus. Um, she found, this is technically for, um, Valentine's Day, I guess. But again, it it's a giant llama. How could we say no? And then this is a flannel shirt. And then Aaliyah also got her some Axe body wash and some Axe body spray. So this is just the little care package that we're putting together for Charlie because we know she's been going through like a super rough time. So hopefully she loves all of her stuff. Now I just need to figure out how I'm actually going to box all of this up. Okay, so I managed to get, I don't even know if you can see, but I managed to get the flannel in here. I've got the two cards in here and I've got the Axe products in here. Um, I'm thinking that this lovely little llama already comes with a strap, so we can probably just drop that off on the doorstep as is. And then with the rest of this stuff, um, I've asked Tracy, she's at work today. I've asked her to pick up like another giant bag or box or something because, you know, originally the plan was to have the entire care package fit into this box. Um, we vastly underestimated how much stuff we were gonna end up like buying and making for Charlie. So um, hopefully mom can find something that's big enough to put all of this in. Okay, finally managed to find enough bags and everything to get most of the stuff into. Um, again, little llama already has a handle to be carried by, so I'm not worried about that one. And uh, the snuggle buddy was just way too big for any bag, box, or anything that we could find. So uh, I guess I'm just leaving the entire snuggle buddy on the doorstep. I mean, it's not gonna be very long because I'm gonna text her right afterwards that I've left a surprise for her. So I've got all the cookies and everything, plus her llama mug. We've got the throw blanket, all of the flannel and ax stuff is in the box. And then we have Honestly, I don't even know what else is in here other than this giant, adorable llama. Look at his face. That's enough to haunt anyone's nightmares. And then the snuggle buddy. So, 
I hope Charlie appreciates this. And Charlie, if you're watching, we love you. Oh, you get your stuff first. You get your stuff. Abby. <laughs> get your stuff. <laughs> Fine, I'm coming. Hi, it's Aaliyah and my new hair here. Still loving it. Um, it's a little dirty right now, so this part's a little <laughs> floppy. But yeah, other than that, we're having a good time with the new hair. But today, I actually bought something off Amazon that I needed that I've been putting off for a long time. Uh, I have a planter wart on my foot. And as a dancer, it's kind of common. But um, it's not fun to have, especially where I have it. It's right <laughs> like in the middle of the ball of my foot. And it's uh, not fun, especially on Releve. So I got wart remover pads off of Amazon. And we're going to try those out for a couple days. Um, warning, I'm about to show you it. So if you don't want to see it, skip this part. <laughs> so here is the little guy on my foot here. gross. I know. Hoping I'm able to get it out. But yeah, it's been bugging me, so hope that's gonna come out soon. Here are the pads that I'm gonna use. They're from Amazon. And I don't know if they work well yet. We'll see. So it said to soak your feet for a little while, and I did, so now I'm going to put it on. This is what it looks like. It goes in the middle here. This is what my wart looks like after I come out of the bath. Gross, I know. Okay, let's put this buddy on. So here it is on my foot. It kind of gaps because of the um, medicine is like kind of puffy. So there's kind of some gaps, but that's okay because I'll be walking on it just a little bit. Um, but yeah, it says to keep it on for a day. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for the first results. Hi everybody, so we're in the car again. A uh, little unknown fact about me is that I own two Degus. They are guinea pig chinchilla mixes, uh, Smokey and Bandit. I've had them for how long? Like two years? Two years now? Just about. And um, they're about probably two to three years old now. But Bandit, uh, about three months ago, had some problems with his teeth. We took him to the vet. Uh, got an antibiotic and a painkiller, put him on that, and then things were fine for the last, like, two months. And then I noticed that he was pulling at his fur again and, uh, digging at his mouth and stuff, which means more teeth problems. And he's been losing a lot of fur, too, so we made him a vet appointment. We're at the vets right now. Uh, he's in there getting checked out. Uh, hope everything's okay with him. Probably just more teeth problems. Um... If you have any kind of rodent, you know that teeth problems are usual, usually uh, apparent. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Just waiting on him to get checked out. And uh, yeah, see you later. Give you an update. Okay, so update. We just got a call back from the vet. Um, the fur issue, it seems like he's just still in pain. Um, what had happened before is when we gave him his antibiotics and his pain medication, he improved for a few months, but now um, the dental disease has come back and um, we're going to do another round of antibiotics and um, he's probably going to be on painkillers pain for the rest of his life to keep him comfortable. Um, but he's okay. Um, and we're going to try to give him some special feeding to get some weight back on him because he has approximately lost like 15% of his body weight. So we're gonna do that for him and hopefully he improves a lot more. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try that and I'll probably give you an update on him in the next vlog. Hi everyone. So it's several days after we dropped all of that stuff off at Charlie's. Um, I don't know how good the footage is because obviously we were doing it when it was nighttime. So we'll see. Um, I have to edit everything today still. Um, so plan for today. I have been baking bagels like nonstop. I don't know if you checked out our Instagram story recently. Um, I have been doing nothing but making bagels. It's a long story. So today I have another batch of bagels to make. Um, I need to edit the podcast today. I need to start editing the vlog today, which is why I'm doing some vlog footage because I've fallen behind because I've been busy making bagels. Um, 
there was something else I needed to do and I've already forgotten. That's absolutely great. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens today. As I said, uh, bagels are first thing on my docket, so I'm going to go ahead and start the dough for those. And then once that is going, um, I'll probably sit down, edit some of the podcast. Oh, that was the other thing I needed to do. Um, Aliyah and I have been working on a bunch of workouts for our dance studio. So I need to sit down and edit some of those. Like, I'm not editing footage for it yet. What I'm doing is editing the actual like exercise list because some of these things when you're repeating them multiple times, it's really, really difficult. So I, I need to kind of moderate it a little bit, which means at some point I'm probably gonna change into my workout gear give the workout a shot, see how it goes, see if it's kind of doable. Um, we're working on, we already did kind of, we call them booty camps, cause you know, we, we're fancy ladies. We don't just do boot camps, we do booty camps. So um, we already did a booty camp and we did um, a leg workout. So now we need to do an ab workout, which is probably gonna be the one that I'm testing today. <laughs> cause you know, your girl, your girl gotta work on her abs a little bit. And uh, we also have an upper body one. That one's a little tougher because it's really hard to isolate the upper body for dancers. So I'm gonna have to kind of play around with that one a little bit. But as I said, first things first, bagel dough, and then editing podcast, and then probably ab workout. So let's go. All right, the dough is on the go. So you can kind of see, there's quite a bit of dry left in the bottom still. And it's kind of stuck to the dough hook, so I might have to uh, pull that off in a minute. But she's a going in there, she's having a dance party. Look at her go. She turns better than half of my students. I'm so mad, I spilled my coffee all over the counter and the floor and I burned myself and now I need to clean it. Ah! Today is not my day. I feel like this is just a sign that worse things are on their way for me. Okay, oh, good timing. So the dough is now done. I've just got a pan that's sitting in the oven. It's just on a warming cycle. Um, the warmest it gets is only 100 degrees. So I have it pulled out because I'm going to do another rise of the dough. Ooh, she got big, look at her. So we're just gonna yank her out of here. And we're gonna put her on the pan. The question is if I can do this with one hand. Uh, like that, right? All right, so I actually took it out of the pan for real. Kind of looks like a weird moon rock. But uh, it's just gonna go ahead and proof in here for like another five minutes. I'm just gonna cover it with a clean tea towel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start forming the bagels. All right, so the five minutes is up and we're going to take a look. Ooh, she's looking good though. So now I'm gonna go ahead, this batch should make about eight decent sized bagels. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and divide that and then we're gonna start forming them. Okay, so I've got the water boiling for the bagels. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but trust me, that's how you make them. So these have finished proofing now. I'm going to change the oven temperature to 400 now. Let's see if I can do this without uh, burning myself out. You know, I could have just used oven mitts, but nah. Okay, so let's see. Like, there we go. So let's take a peek. One, two. Oh, hello. They puffed up. Oh, no, don't stick. Eh. Okay. They look pretty. That This one is like a monster. Look at him. He's like, bleh. But overall, they look very, very good. So now what I'm going to have to do is reopen the holes because as you can see, they've uh, formed shut again for the most part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of flatten these out a bit, knock some of the air out, and reopen the holes. Okay, so bagels are ready to go. I've just got like a little drip tray ready for them. Um, so essentially, I'm just going to use this lovely slotted spoon to pick up the bagels, put them in the water. I'm going to boil them for about a minute on each side, and then I'm gonna move them over there because they're gonna be pretty soft and pretty delicate. Okay, so I flipped her and she is now done boiling. So I'm going to use this little lifter to kind of get underneath and hopefully pick her up. Oh, we steamed up the camera. Well, hopefully you get the idea of what's going on here. All right, so bagels are finally done boiling. I just pulled this one out as you can tell from the steam. Um, so now I'm just gonna be egg washing them. I've just got a little bit of egg wash. And then uh, once I have them egg washed, I'm just gonna be sprinkling them. This is just some like dried onion flakes because these are onion and herb bagels. So once I get that done, I'm gonna get them onto a new tray that's not covered in flour and I'm gonna stick them in the oven. All right, so I've got the first six bagels here. I've got the other two here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide them into the oven. And then halfway through baking, I'm just gonna switch which pan is on top and which pan is on the bottom so that we get a little bit more of an even bake. There we go. All right, bye bagels, see you later. Okay, so uh, timer just went off for the bagels. I pulled out those two earlier because they were on a smaller tray. They got done a little bit quicker. Ooh, yeah, these look really good. Look, you guys, bagels. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set these on a cooling rack. Take my glove off, shut the oven door. And now I'm just gonna take these off the tray right away and move them over to that fire rack so that the bottoms don't keep cooking. All right, and there you have it, folks. Urban onion bagels. See, some of them turned out perfect. Like, I love this one. This one looks so good. And then there's this. This. And this. I guess that's what you get when you make homemade bagels. So if you're wondering what my hair looks like in the morning, now that it's short, uh, it looks like this. And yes, that is the bat completely standing up. But we'll figure it out. I'll get some pomade and we'll uh, try to do something with it. But an update on my wart. <laughs> um, I had the uh, patch on overnight. It's now the morning. And I woke up, went to the bathroom, looked down, and it was gone. So it came off in my bed while I was sleeping. And that means there's a bunch of that little red stuff all over my bed. And I'm not very happy about it. I mean, I should have been smarter and uh, put a sock on, but that didn't uh, happen. Okay, 
Let me switch this around and show you what's going on with this little guy. So here it is before I kind of wipe it off. Um, it's white all around it. I don't know if that's... Oh, it is. That is like raised skin. Oh my. So it's doing something. And look at that. Wow. It's coming out, guys. It's coming out. Okay. I'm going to put it back on and then leave it for another day. Okay, see you then. Okay, hello. So I have now had my wart pad on for three days or two 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 days um you saw it yesterday and now today and i think i'm ready to start poking at it this is not medical advice do not try this at home uh i don't know what i'm doing um also warning i'm about to pick out my wart okay bye <laughs> so this is her for two days you can see that it's pretty dead and uh, I think I'm ready to start picking. Okay, I'll show you guys after I'm all done. So after some pretty uneventful picking, it's dead dead down in there. It's all white. It kind of looks like, kind of looks like crab. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it for another week. So that, because the whole area around it and inside it is dead. So basically it's just waiting for the dead skin to fall off. And hopefully it's dead deep enough for the wart to just fall out. So I just picked the kind of first layer off anyways. Um, I want to show you because it's pretty gnarly. It looks interesting. But yeah, I'll give it another week and update you guys um, <laughs> in the next vlog. Um, you'll get a nice wart update. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> okay, so... Final updates for this vlog. <laughs> it's probably the longest vlog I've ever been in. But, um, I'm gonna let the wart, um, go for a little while. So, I hear that it can take weeks and our months for the, um, wart to completely grow out. So I'm gonna wait a week or two, see what's going on with that. Um, it only hurts a little bit right now, so... I don't really mind, I can dance through it, it's not like I haven't danced through pain before, but... And then Bandit, he's doing a lot better now, he's eaten like a champ, he ate like his whole food bowl, plus his liquid nutrition, so... <laughs> and a couple of um, natural peanut butter and pump pumpkin seeds, so he's gonna put on weight very fast. <laughs> so yeah, he's been doing good, um, more active. Um, sleeping a little bit. <laughs> I um, used to have a heat pack. It was just a little rice bag that um, I gave to them so they're allowed to use it now. And they sleep on it. They cuddle on it. It's so cute to watch them lay on it. But yeah, he's doing a lot better. Um, I'm hoping that um, with the painkillers he'll continue to improve and that the spots where he's stressed pulling out his fur will grow back with time. But yeah, I'm very happy to see him do it better, and uh, I'll see you guys next week to update you guys more on my court and stuff. <laughs> Remember to check out podcast, Instagram, Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Tumblr, got everything. Uh, find us there, send us emails, let us know what you think. Let me know if you have any exotic animals. Okay, see you guys later. Bye!